Good afternoon, folks. Thanks for joining us today for the free webinar. My name is Brian Cavanaugh. I am the co-CEO and founder at Free TV. Uh, we've been doing this for 10 years now, uh, helping people cut the cord and save money and really just, you know, get the same channels, same services, uh, cut your bill in half. Uh, none, none of the bait and switch cable and satellite stuff, but real savings, real freedom forever. So that's what we're about. There's a lot of different complexities that go into cord cutting. Um, you know, there's antennas and getting the right antenna. There's streaming and, and getting the right streaming service and the right hardware. There's um, obviously working with your network and having a good mesh network for Wi-Fi. And there's also the complicated part of, you know, making it easy to use. Uh, plus, even more complicated than that sometimes is dealing with Comcast and CenturyLink, uh, in addition to DirecTV, quite frankly. Um, so today's topic, uh, you know, we've covered a lot of the other topics in other webinars and certainly we'll cover some of those more in the future, but today's topic is just that, basically how to uh, negotiate your bill with uh, Comcast and CenturyLink and get it down to as low as possible. Uh, and even more important, uh, doing it in a, a timely fashion without losing your uh, time and sanity uh, while you're doing it. So uh, anyway, um, if you are on the YouTube uh, link here, you can actually probably go down to the bottom and subscribe to our free TV channel, uh, you know, for other tips and tricks related to money saving and cord cutting and internet, Wi-Fi, you know, bill stuff, TV stuff. Uh, really, we do a lot of different things. Um, the other thing is in the chat on the right-hand side, you can put in any uh, questions or any future topics you uh, might be interested in. Uh, we cover a lot of various topics. I know probably starting next month, we'll do one on different internet uh, competition, uh, competitive offers that are coming, like new internet providers, actually, which is a great thing. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of competition right now. And I think we all know uh, that competition is what really lowers prices and, and improves service. Uh, certainly, what we have right now uh, is, is not the best service and uh, not the best prices. Uh, so anything that we can do competitive competition wise to help that is, is obviously uh, welcomed. Um, this is our website. It's a great resource. Um, if you go to www.freetvee.com, so it's eight letters, F -R -E 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 dot com. Um, there's a couple things I'll show you on here just real quick for your own benefit. Um, if you're actually new to cord cutting and saving money and just free TV in general, uh, I would actually schedule a call because it's much easier to kind of get into more of an ind individual one-on-one -on -one conversation with what you and your family needs as far as channels and how much money we can save you and stuff like that. That, that just schedules a call with one of our experts. It's actually a free consultation. At the end of the day, we're here to help people. Uh, we're not, we're, we don't own any skin in the game. We, we, we're not a service provider. Um, we're not a hardware provider, so we literally have your best interests at heart. Whereas when you call into Comcast and some of these other guys, they do not have their best, your best interests at heart. They have their best interests at heart. And it's always about the money, right? Which is kind of the theme you got to keep in mind at the back of your, in the back of your brain when you're calling into these folks to negotiate your bill down. So there's a lot of things I'll go into related to tips and tricks to not only save money, but save your sanity and do it right. And, uh, you know, not fall into their traps of kind of the bait and switch pricing and all the typical stuff you run into uh, from the last decade, whether it's cable or satellite or whatever, it's kind of all the same, uh, same stuff, right? Um, the other thing is obviously future webinars we'll put out here. We probably won't be putting things out there until uh, towards the, eh, probably the weekend or early next week, but we'll have some different topics, uh, including internet competition coming uh, and things like that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you on here, too, is, yes, there's a lot of good resources, but this news section has a lot of great blogs uh, about just different topics, um, kind of the, how to get rid of how to get about any sport you want. Uh, there's a lot of the recent blogs about that with NBA and the Nuggets and uh, altitude sports being blacked out. We actually have ways to get that separately. Uh, Rockies games and AT&T Sportsnet is on there. Um, even the Broncos and how to get every single Broncos game for free. And there's a lot of great stuff about kind of the bundle BS, which is really the song and dance, the cable and satellite gets you and how to get your TV and internet really for easily under 60 bucks a month for TV and internet um, with no contracts. So 
Uh, anyway, we'll get into some of that stuff today too, uh, but that's just a good resource if you go to the news section there. Um, the, the thing to kind of keep in mind with cord cutting in general is that it's great because there's a lot of options. Pretty much you can get any channel you want, actually. It's all the same channels, so there's really no reason for people not to cut the cord in, nowadays. Um, what I will say, though, just from experience, because we've been doing this for 10 years, uh, you know, Free TV has been, been in business for 10 years since I founded it. Uh, there are a lot of confusing options out there. There's a lot of hardware that doesn't work really well. There's a lot of in antennas that don't work well, like indoor antennas we do not recommend at all because um, you're cluttering up your house with the indoor antennas all over the place. And then there's just reception issues where you're having it break up in the middle of your, your news, or your favorite show or the Broncos game, stuff like that. So we just only install like a, a more powerful uh, attic or outdoor antenna, which can get you guaranteed reception. Um, there's also a lot of just confusion around where stuff is at. And unfortunately, about 80% of the stuff in the market just either is misleading or, or just doesn't work very well. So that's a big part of what we do instead of, uh, you know, somebody wasting a bunch of time and money and trying to cut the cord themselves and piecemeal something together. You just hire the experts to do it right the first time. The best part about what we do is we've tested everything. We know what works the best. We just buy all the hardware in bulk. So that's how we make our money is on the margins. We're not here to gouge people. We're very reasonable with what we do. Um, and you just sit back and relax and we take care of everything. So we're consultants, we're installers. We actually do everything you know, A to Z, we give you a full demo, show you how to use it. And we actually have on today's topic for all of our customers, we have a little lead behind form now that we have for our customers that gives you the tips and tricks on how to best negotiate your bill down with Comcast and CenturyLink and to save your time while you're doing it. So you're not, uh, you know, losing your mind because trust me, uh, we'll kind of get rolling on this topic. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of reasons that cable and satellite and even your CenturyLink and your Comcast is what it is and why it's such a pain to get to get your bill negotiated down when you're a new customer you just go to the website click click you get a new deal but that only lasts for six months maybe a year tops right so um anyway well, first thing we're going to start with is just kind of a, a general background of of what makes the bills so expensive and, and why your cable tv bundle is so expensive so i call it bundle bs where you call in and they say oh no no like you don't want just the internet like you need the bundle because that's the best deal Obviously, bundle BS, right? Uh, so the reason I call it that is because it's totally not true. So unfortunately, when you have a monopoly, uh, like basically CenturyLink and Comcast do, you can pretty much do and say whatever you want. Uh, there's a lot of misleading things that they tell you. You can actually call in and talk to three different reps, and you'll get three different stories for the same problem. Um, unfortunately, at the end of the day, you just have to be educated. Uh, as to, to what's going on. So the first thing I'll kind of explain is why the bundle's so expensive and why they push it so much. So real quick, if you look at your bill, which I encourage you all to pull out your bill, a lot of it's on auto pay because they get pretty smart, right? They put it on auto pay, out of sight, out of mind. But you know, you're paying 150, 200, 250 bucks a month for your bundle. All the taxes and fees are on TV and phone. So if you chop it down to just internet only, taxes are like a couple bucks a month and that's it. There's modem rentals and we'll get into how, how to avoid those towards the end of the, the call here today. But most importantly, just keep in mind that all the fees, broadcast TV fee, HD fee, box fee, sports TV fee, all the taxes, DVR fee, there's so many fees, regional sports fee, that's all on TV and then phone, right? So if you look at all those fees, so... When they're saying, hey, TV is just this price, it's really not just that price because there's an extra, probably almost a third of your bill in just fees, right? And those fees are actually getting worse. And here's the reason why they're getting worse. So last year alone, 6 million people cut the cord from cable and satellite. And the content providers, though, are not necessarily Comcast, Dish, Direct TV. The, Comcast, the, the uh, content providers are people like, say like ABC, which owns ESPN and like Disney. Um, and there's things, and, and by the way, like Patrick Mahomes signs a contract for $500 million. They're passing that on to ESPN and ABC and, and Disney who they have to shove down in, in a bundle. And they're passing that on to the cable provider. They're not gonna take a hit. They're gonna raise your prices too. And they'll do it with more sneaky fees, regional sports fees, broadcast TV fees, all that nonsense. So there's much, much smarter, better ways to do that. I'll touch on that in a bit as well. 
to get TV separately, either a la carte or a lot less expensive. And in a lot of cases, actually free. There's an amazing amount of content out there. We're living in the world of, of content nowadays where there's all kinds of stuff and no contracts. I and mean, even a lot of stuff that's free, that's just really amazing. Um, so anyway, that's, that's why it's getting higher. That's also why there's more blackouts. So like Altitude Sports has been blacked out for over a year now. So you're paying 200 bucks a month for your bundle, which makes absolutely no sense, right? And you still can't even get Altitude Sports, which is even one more reason to just dump them, right? Uh, Dish and ABC, uh, so you won't even be able to watch like the Nuggets or the NBA Finals uh, starting probably next week because Dish has been in a blackout with ABC for the last uh, over a month now, I think. So every week there's a new blackout going on, right? It's crazy. More fees, more blackouts. That's if you re really, the reality of the situation is if you stick with your cable and satellite provider, that's really what you're sticking with. Your, your bills are never going down. They're actually going to go up because there's less people from cutting the cord to pay for all these fee increases. So they have to raise your prices. They don't have a choice. Um, so anyway, that's, that's kind of the scoop on that. Um, you can actually see I have a, a bill here. I mean, if you break down the bill, there's just... You know, pull like I said, pull your own bill out. Like there's all kinds of just fees and taxes, and all those fees and taxes are on TV and phone. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, by the way, while we're on the website here too, I'll go over to this news section. And in the news section, if I scroll down here a little bit, there's a lot of different blogs. You know, we usually write at least a blog a week. Like I said, there's one about getting the Broncos for free and altitude sports and all that. Uh, what I wanted to show you was. Uh, we also did one on how to, you know, make sure your internet's uh, fast and your Wi-Fi is strong. But these couple most recent ones here are literally just talking about the bundles and how to get your bill down, you know, with all getting rid of all the extra fees and stuff. And then uh, the most recent one is just, you know, more how to how to negotiate your bill down uh, and make sure it's as low as it possibly can be. Um, so that's what we'll get into next. Um, one last thought on the TV piece of it too is realize that Comcast hasn't had your best interest in mind for since they've been doing business right over the last decade or two. Um, they have this new thing because all kinds of people are cutting the cord. Uh, they have a new piece of hardware called a flex box. Looks a lot like a cable box, right? Well, it basically is, right? It's a new streaming version of a cable box. They're trying to sell it to people as being this cord cutting thing when it's truly not true cord cutting. Real cord cutting is having the freedom to do what you want, when you want, and you're in control of your own destiny. All this is, is basically keeping that you in their universe. And if you want to add on true TV channels, you're going to be paying a bunch of extra costs, plus a bunch of extra fees and extra box fees and the same stuff, broadcast TV fees and sports TV fees. Uh, they also have a new streaming service called Peacock, which we actually have articles on the website. You can kind of check that stuff out as well. Um, but it's it's not a good deal uh, either. So just be be warned if if you're if you're seeing you know ads on TV or when you call in, they're trying to shove that stuff down your throat. They're trying to do it for a reason. It's not really any good for you. So I would just avoid it. Save the time and hassle because it's the same bait and switch that's been happening um, forever, really, with your with your bills. So just stay away from it in the first place. Um, what I would recommend is if if you kind of see the difference here, real cord cutting is what we install is a really easy to use situation. There's a lot of stuff that happens behind the scenes. There's actually a box that integrates it all and brings it together. But basically there's kind of a couple things you need. Um, like I said, an outdoor attic, you know, HD antenna. This is a mesh network, which is basically just helping with your live streaming. Um, and then we use a little streaming media player. You can see that's kind of what brings it all together and makes it super simple. So it has TV power and volume built into it. It's one remote, you don't have to change inputs back and forth. So it's really super simple to use. We're really about, you know, kind of three main things, obviously ease of use, saving you the most money every month. You know, our average customer saves $1,500 uh, every year or $125 every month, not a bait and switch like cable and satellite, but real savings forever. And then the third thing is just freedom, right? You can do what you want, when you want. There's no contracts, even if, you know, there's a bunch of free stuff, which obviously there's no contract at all on free, right? <laughs> Um, but even the pay stuff is really much, much less expensive. You can get any cable channel you want. Um, but anyway, going into just the interface here real quick, you can see you can get all the same stuff, 
So instead of paying Comcast for your gigantic bundle and getting nailed for broadcast TV fees and uh, sports TV fees and HD fees and all the other nonsense, everything you see here is all free. So literally you're paying $0 a month. And yes, when you do cut the cord, you do pay more up front because you're basically using, if you're paying 200 bucks, you know, for your, your bundle, imagine it being down at like 50 bucks a month, right around that for just internet only. That's 150 bucks back in your pocket every month. So you can do the math. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out this is a good financial uh, investment, right? Where you're paying a one-time cost up front for a lifetime, lifetime of savings, all the hardware you need to make it work right, that's basically what you're using, the money you used to throw away to Comcast every month to buy the hardware you need to get the channels you want, make it easy to use, fix up your Wi-Fi, you know, things like that, get rid of the modem rentals and all the other fees. But anyway, the monthly basis uh, with what every, everything we do, especially, is we're all about saving the most money every month. So this whole interface there, you can see it's a grid TV guy, just like you're used to. Um, that literally is all free. Even if I come out here and I say, hey, I want to, you know, record, uh, you know, a show later on tonight. You can actually do this all through the remote. Super simple. You can record episode or record series. And every time it comes on, it'll just record that show for you. So. Again, same stuff, just no DVR fees, no TV guide fees, no HD fees. All that stuff is out the door. Um, and you can get any cable channel you want in here, too. You can see, like, I got CNN and Comedy Central and Discovery and Fox News and HGTV and everything else that I might possibly want. Like I said, there's no channel you can't get. Um, believe it or not, there's actually bundles. Uh, there's a bundle that's like 20 to 30 bucks a month. It gives you the top 40 to 60 channels. Those are usually the ones we recommend. Um, and then you get all your local network channels totally free off of an antenna. You actually get like 50, 60 channels for free off of an antenna. So that's certainly the base for TV that we use. Um, so anyway, that's, that's just kind of a general way of step one of negotiating your bill down is not relying on your internet provider, CenturyLink and Comcast for TV and phone, because that's where all the fees are. So step one is taking the smart route out, taking control back and saving a huge amount of money every month. Uh, like I said, our average customer saves $125 every month on average. Um, free TV off the antenna for local channels, and then maybe 20, 30 bucks a month if you care about cable channels. And there's no contract, so you can literally just keep it for certain times a year and dump it and save even more money. Or if coronavirus hits and nothing's on, you just dump it, right? You still have your Netflix, you still have your Prime. Like, I'll go back home here and actually show you how easy that is. Your Netflix, your Prime, Disney, Hulu, whatever else you want. There's a bunch of free stuff. We actually load up all kinds of free apps on there for streaming. There's a lot of customers, quite frankly, that once they get into this, they realize, oh, my gosh, there's so much content. I could watch something new every day for the rest of my life, and I still wouldn't need to pay for anything. So there's an amazing amount of content out there. We just get you in touch with that content and integrate it all together to make it easy to use. So again, a lot of reasons we do what we do. Um, and to back up too, by the way, um, you probably couldn't have got a better source for kind of an insider's uh, guide to bill negotiation and, and saving money on your bills. Because even before I founded free TV 10 years ago, I actually used to work for us West quest, essentially we peddled direct TV. I worked there for 13 years. Half of that time was on the front lines, literally just answering phone calls. The other half was in the corporate office. And so I've seen this from every, every single angle. We know their bodies are bare. We know the games they play. So that's what we'll get into next is how you negotiate your bill down um, and get it as low as possible, but also uh, save yourself some time and sanity because realize how these guys are set up is Comcast and CenturyLink at the end of the day you're lucky if you have even those two for competition right now. Like I said, we'll be doing a webinar in about a month or so that has other internet co competition coming in the future. So definitely tune back in for that. Um, but for now, the, really, the reality is there really isn't much competition. So step one, get rid of your TV and phone. Step two, grab your bill. Make sure you have a good understanding of what it is. You'll need your account number and everything when you call in. Uh, maybe even step zero before all that stuff is Grab your patience uh, because, you know, you get through the whole phone transfer tree and, you know, going through the sales pitch that they throw at you. And, you know, you can't you can't uh, win with anger. Uh, you have to win kind of like in life. Right. You got to win with being nice to people. So uh, the same thing applies to uh, negotiating your bill down as well. Um, the 
The other thing I would say too is when you call in, um, yeah, we have a guide for our customers that we leave behind and it gives you kind of more of the details. Um, we'll, we'll kind of go over high level stuff today, but really I would say have an idea of what the competitive offer is from either Comcast or CenturyLink, whoever you're not using right now. Um, basically, you need to put a little fear of God into them that you're switching. Some people are good at that on the phone. Some people aren't. Uh, some people like, don't mind. They have half a day to deal with all this. Some people don't. Um, obviously, the reason free TV exists, instead of you know wasting a bunch of time and money and losing your sanity, you just hire us to do it right the first time. So if you want to do it right and speed up the process and, and you know that type of thing and make sure you're saving the most money, obviously, just you know go on to our website, frwetvw.com, and then just click on schedule a call if you're new to free TV. Um, or just give us a call, 303-794-8600. Uh, if, you're, if you're kind of uh, willing to go through the time and effort, uh, you know, like I said, start with those couple things. Um, understand that when you get in, they're going to try to sell you stuff. It's not like Netflix where you just click, click, go online and cancel, right? That's the way things should be, really. If you think about it, it's kind of ridiculous. Not only have we been programmed into paying hundreds of dollars a month for hundreds of cable channels we don't watch, and being treated like crap at the same time, which makes no sense. But it also makes no sense that I can't do whatever I want, whenever I want in, a, in an easy fashion, pretty much spend on wasting at least an hour negotiating your bill down. That's just the reality of the situation. It's, it's sad that we've, we, that we've gotten to this place, but that's just the, the reality of, of what we're uh, stuck with, with no competition. Um, when you call in, they're going to give you some misinformation. Keep in mind, the people that are answering the phone, they're, they're paid sales commissions. So they're paid to save you. They're paid to sell you other things. If they drop it down and just send it only, they don't get any money for that, right? They don't get any bonuses for that. I mean, potentially, they could get fired eventually for that. And trust me, I've seen it happen. It's an ugly corporate uh, you know, world set up that... that that's the way it works, but that's, that is the, really the way it works behind the scenes. Um, they won't tell you that, but that really is. The reason that's important to understand is because you basically need to control the conversation and be nice as much as possible. Because if you just let them control the conversation, you'll be there for two hours and you'll walk out of there with TV, phone, internet bundle, with home security and cell phone service. And you'll be like, what the heck happened? And even if they tell you your bill is going to be this price, your first bill probably won't even be that price. And I guarantee your second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth bill won't be that price. All the extra fees and taxes are on TV and phone. So just kind of keep that in mind. They're always going to try to sell you more stuff because that's they're, they're based on sales. They're, they're sales reps, right? That's just like when you walk into a car dealership, they're going to try to sell you on what they want to sell you, right? Uh, extended warranties and whatever else. You know, It's no different than going anywhere and having a salesperson that's paid commissions, paid spiffs based off of that. So unfortunately, it's just how they set up that, that structure. You just need to know how to work around it. So you just need to be really clear, internet only. And, you know, really the other thing to kind of to, to keep in mind, and we had a previous webinar about this. I'm sure we'll do another webinar on a similar topic in the future. There's blogs on the website about this. But basically, if you um, – actually, we'll go back to the, the website here. If you, um, if you take the, the standpoint of going in and saying, hey, I don't want the bundle BS, I just want internet only, um, that's definitely the way to do it. But the other thing I would recommend too is understand that they're always going to try to sell you more speed than what you need. Even if you say, hey, my internet's not working, it's not, you know, it, it's not, I'm, I'm having buffering when I'm streaming. The problem is actually not, your internet speed most of the time. Actually, 75% of our customers have Comcast base speed, which is 100 megabits per second. You should easily be able to get that for $55, $50 a month for internet only. Taxes a couple bucks a month. That's it, period. Um, the key is the reason people have streaming issues, you know, it's just like everything in court cutting, even just like bill negotiating, right? It's complex. There's a lot of different touch points, a lot of things going on, which is obviously, again, a big piece of why free TV does what we do. Um, but you don't need to pay the rental fees, 15, 20, whatever the heck they're going to raise it to next. I guarantee that's going up in the next three or four months to rent your modem and router. 
one, you're renting a piece of junk because uh, they really don't work very well. But two, this is just a much newer, better mesh technology that we install. And it saves, it's actually much easier. There's an app on your phone. You can control everything. So you log in your network and do speed test. But uh, the other great thing about it is it's a newer, better technology and it saves the rental fees. So you own it. You're totally in control. You don't have to get ripped off for the rental fees every month. So we're basically trying to eliminate all of the relying on Comcast and CenturyLink and Dish and DirecTV for anything at the end of the day. And soon, probably as early as next year, there'll be options for other competition for internet um, that'll be like $50 a month or lower probably. And it'll be high speed internet, like ridiculously high speed. Um, you know, there's a lot of other hardware that we use, little streaming sticks. Uh, you got to install the right hardware to make it work right. But at the end of the day, um, you know, not overpaying for internet is another thing you really need to keep in mind. Uh, and this is actually a big part of what we talk about in this blog down here, you know, about how to make your internet faster. Uh, it's not an issue with speed. They're going to try to sell you more speed because if you're paying for a thousand megabits or a gig, guess how much you're paying them? Like two or three times the cost of what you should be paying for internet. You should be able to get internet only from Centrelink really for anywhere from 40 to 50 bucks a month. Um, most people are okay with the base plan. As long as you have a speed of like probably 40 or better, I'd recommend at least. If you have more people in the house or kids and gaming, then you definitely want to kind of, you know, get higher speeds. Comcast base speed is 100. That's totally fine for most people. Um, you should be able to get that for 50, 55 bucks a month for internet only. Uh, if you're switching providers, internet only will be even cheaper because the first six, 12 months you'll get a deal. I'm talking about like existing customers. So that gives you a pretty good idea of where you're, you know, where you're at. Um, the one thing I'll finish off with here is all the stuff we were just talking about, like this angry guy calling into Comcast and yelling. These couple blogs, if you again go to the website frwetbwe.com, just click on the news section there. There's a lot of really great blogs where you can kind of delve into different things. Um, but it talks about bill negotiators, talks about how to get the cheapest TV and internet. Um, at the end of the day, if we go into this blog real quick, I'll kind of show you <clears throat> again, it's remembering how things work, right? So they're going to try to sell you stuff you don't need. You need to go in being under control, having a, a good understanding of what's going on in the industry and, and just saying, Hey, on internet, internet only. Um, if you do that and you're stick with your guns, you'll save yourself a lot of time, but really the least expensive way to get TV and internet is internet only. Like I said, 30 to 56 bucks a month with tax and everything. Um, and then TV wise, you know, we have the antenna that we install like an attic or outdoor antenna for guaranteed signal. And remember that's going to get you 50, 60 channels for free. And most importantly, it's all your local network channels. So again, you're still at next to nothing basically for your, your, TV and internet bill. And then all you're doing is just adding in whatever cable channel bundle you want. And they range, the ones we recommend are usually 20 to 30 bucks a month. They give you the top, uh, you know, 40, 50, 60 cable channels, no contract month to month. So it's the exact same stuff. You're just taking your gigantic $200 bundle bill, chopping it down to internet for let's say 50 bucks a month or right around there. TVs, TV, you know, local TV channels are totally free. The TV guide is free. The DVR is free, no extra fees broadcast TV fee is gone and sports fees are gone and all the other, you know, crap the cable and satellite throws on that they get you with all you're paying for is just whatever cable channels you want. Uh, just, you know, really month to month too, no contracts. So that kind of sums it up. Um, again, if you go back to our website, if you're brand new to free TV, I would definitely highly recommend, uh, just going and scheduling a call, uh, or you can just call us directly 303-794-8600. Um, future webinars we'll put on here uh, to watch a webinar and then like I said there's a bunch of great uh, info under the news section there so again it's frwetbwe.com uh, eight letters free and then tvee.com uh, or just like I said schedule a call and we'll be able to let you know exactly how much money we can save every month uh, our average customer saves a significant amount of money it's 1500 bucks a year on average uh, it's $125 a month back in your pocket. I'm pretty sure everybody could use that money, right? And 
get away from the Comcast Centrelink and improve your situation, quite frankly, and fix up your Wi-Fi, make your reception better. It's actually better HD quality in a lot of the content we use. And it's super simple, right? It's one remote control. You're not changing inputs back and forth. Uh, we got it down to a science, really, because we've been doing this for 10 years, so we're experts at it. So anyway, thanks for tuning in today. Appreciate it. Uh, and we'll talk to you uh, on our next webinar. Take care.